Chosen, this Sunday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Welcome back. We're live at the Hubble House. I'm with Ruth. She is the sommelier here at the Hubble House. In fact, you guys are having a nice holiday dinner, which is going to include drinks and food and you're going to be there as well yes i will talk about the wines i paired with we do a three course meal we start out with a very festive cocktail everybody gets the, the recipe for that and then um i paired the wines with that with all of the food that will go really well with what Dave is preparing. We have a wonderful chef here. Oh. He's amazing. We're going to check him out later. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. That's a great thing because a lot of people don't know what type of wine to drink with what. Right? Yes. So this, we're going to get a little lesson. Yes. This is not the wines I'm not, I'm pairing next week, but these are really good wines for the holidays um, that we have in front of us. We have a dry Riesling. Dry Riesling? Yes. Okay. From uh, New York State. Um, I, That's this one? Yes. And it goes, it, it goes <laughs> really, really well with if you have turkey or if you have ham, uh, and especially the turkey. The acidity, like, counter, it balances the little bit of saltiness of a turkey. And then the next one is uh, Amelo Merlot, Napa Valley. Okay. Is that kind of dry, though? It's a, dry. It's a little dry. Mm -hmm. If you are having prime rib for the holidays, okay. steaks... Um, I, we usually have a tried trip. How is it? Nummy, nummy. It's <laughs> wonderful. That's a wonderful really wine. That's uh, part of the Camus family, the uh, MLO. Um, yeah, lots of fruit yeah. from that. And it, then uh -huh. uh, we have a, I have a ruby port. Oh, that's sweet, I bet. Um, that's port? A, is port? A, a little. It's, it's really good with, I always think about chocolate desserts at, Ooh, okay. at, um, Christmas time, like when that is one of the wines we're going to do next next Thursday, the fourteenth starts at six o'clock, um, and we're having a dark chocolate tort with raspberry, with the port, and it's port's always good with the chocolate, chocolate, dark yeah. chocolate, yeah, dark yeah. chocolate. It has to be dark chocolate. Well, it can be regular, but it's better with dark chocolate. That's what I really love is like when you find a pairing that you know the wine is the right weight and uh, the food. It, you don't want your wine to outshine your food and vice versa. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. It can be intimidating for yeah. people. So this is kind of yes. good to know what you're looking for. And you have to stick with the rules. I've always heard you have to drink white wine. I, I was going to say that. Absolutely. You're so what I, my job is like tonight, I will walk around the dining rooms and suggest wine to people, mm -hmm. sell bottles of wine. But if say you're a Chardonnay fan, I'm not going to say, and you want to have a steak? You don't have to have red wine. It's all <laughs> what you, you like. Look at me funny and say, it's mm. for, no, I do not do that. Some <laughs> do, but I'm like, no, it's what you like. It's supposed to be fun. We're drinking wine, and it's supposed to be fun and exciting. And, you know, so I don't, I don't, I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> me too. How long have you been a sommelier? Uh, Ten years. And now, how do you become one? I mean, we all like to, some of us like to drink wine, but how do you so become one? I went to school. I worked at Summerbee for 10 years, and I went to school while I was working there um, up to the Art Institute in Minneapolis okay. and did my level one and two. And then during the pandemic, I was going crazy. So like a lot of us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, so I kept studying and I had to fly to Denver to do my level three. There's four levels in sommelier. A, a master sommelier, there's like 120 in the United States. That's it. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Was I, it scary at all? I mean, do you have to? No, you have to. I've always had a passion for it and I am blessed with having a good palate because one of the requirements so that you do 24 blind wine tastings and you have to name the grape, the vintage, the terroir. Um, yeah, you have, you have to get them all right. You know, after a while they all taste the same. I mean, do you have to spit? I've seen some we, do that. So yeah, absolutely. When I was doing my classes, we didn't, well, sometimes the wine was so good. Maybe some went down my oh, throat. But that's how it works. <laughs> but mostly, yeah, you spit it out. <laughs> So how long have you been a uh, sommelier for the Hubble House? Since they, since Joe Powers took over, the Powers Company. Um, so when they we opened a year ago, May, I've been since then. Oh, and of course you love it. 
I love I, it. <laughs> I worked here when I was in the 80s, when I was oh. way younger. I was a server here. Yeah, oh for goodness. 10 years. Yeah. What? Yeah. Full circle. And now you're back here. I know. So tell us what some, what's your favorite go-to wine? If you're just kind of a glass of wine at night, relaxing, what would it be? Um, oh, there's many. I In the summertime, I really like a nice crisp rosé. Um, sitting out on the patio, having a nice rosé. Um, but I would have to say my favorite is a Pinot Noir from Oregon. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oregon has their... Willamette Valley. I took a group out there when I had my wine club at, at Summerbee. And, that would be really fun. Um, yeah, and then a couple years later we went to Napa and so Sonoma. But um, they have just the right climate and the soil and everything yeah. is perfect for Pinot Noirs. So those that, uh, do you have to make a reservation for the, the party, the yes. holiday party? Oh, you do. Okay, of yes. course. Yes, um, it's online and um, it's also on our Facebook page. Walk takes you right it's through Eventbrite. We do so you pay ahead of time. Got it. And we have the information at our website at kttc.com. Is there anything else we need to know about the the event coming up? You're going to be here. You're going to do wine so tasting will, for everyone. Yeah, we'll talk through the wines that I chose to pair with with all the foods, and um, and you also get a recipe for the cocktail for the for all the foods. So it's a, it's a fun holiday thing. Oh, and yeah. then the chef Dave is going to be preparing food yeah. as well. And I think he's going to do a class on the sauces he and things. Do the, I, we had, it's the same thing we did one last year. Mm -hmm. So he will come out and do a demo of the sauce for what you guys are going to go see. Back yeah. Ooh, that's why I can't <laughs> wait. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm going to take the wine with us and you drink should. it back there. Actually, you should take the Riesling with you. Ah, there you mm. go. Should we? I well, Vivian, what do you recommend? Drink on, are we allowed to drink on the job? Well, we're Taste not. On the job. <laughs> we're tasting here at the Hubble House. We're not. <laughs> I say go for it. Right? <laughs> uh, listen to Ruth. Just go for yeah, it. <laughs> absolutely. It's all supposed to be fun, you know? <laughs> exactly. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to do another tour. We're going to talk to the tuba players. We're also going to talk to Chef Dave. He's going to make some of those sauces that Ruth talked about. Don't go away. We have more coming up. <laughs> 